Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. I wanted to take a moment before this upcoming video um, to say thank you. And, and it was amazing to read all of these comments. You know, in the intro of this upcoming video, I say we're giving out two gift cards. Well, reading all these beautiful comments and reading what you said, I, I wanted to give out more. So we're giving out 10 $25 gift cards to everybody. And I honestly wish I could do more um, because you guys are amazing and you keep me doing you know what I'm doing here um, it's amazing traveling the US and seeing all these different homes um, floor plans budgets and everything and what started as a joke you know with the home office because I travel first and foremost for manufacturedhomes.com all the photos all the videos um, a lot of it's me and our team and um, nobody knew where Will was you know so he called they'd call me up and like where's Will and it kind of just clicked, and we started doing that. And if you've been following the channel for a long time, you know that in the beginning, I did not talk at all. I was shy, scared of, of saying the wrong thing or, you know, calling something the wrong thing. But, you know, uh, some time later and a couple hundred videos later, here we are. And now I'm getting in front of the camera, which is a, a big step for me. But it's because of you guys, honestly. Um, I love listening to you, um, trying to bring what you want, you know, in a home tour. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to add some handicap features in, in my home tours so you know you can see the sizes and spaces so we're trying to figure that out you know I didn't know how important some features were in the beginning but you guys let me know and I thank you thank you for that because you are making this better and um, you know with that you know it was so hard to go through, you know, to, to pick a winner, pick 10 winners, because honestly, I want to give it all to everybody who commented. Um, but, you know, um, this is just a small token of my appreciation. And soon we're going to give out, we're going to do more. We're going to do more. And I want this to grow. Um, you know, I may be a small channel right now, but you guys make me feel big. And on that note, the winners of this giveaway is Carol Baker, J. Dot, Khadija Davis, Lisa Givens, Della Dearest, Mickey D, Laura Phelps, Linda Carniel, uh, Carlindo Carlos King Jr., which is also known as Pastor Benjamin, and Anita Kirby. Again, everybody, thank you so much. Um, I hope to see you again on the next home tour. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because we've got some crazy ideas coming, some cool things coming, and I want to bring you along. So come on, let's hit the road and find out where's Will. Hey again, everyone. It's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today. Today, I have found myself in Cornville, Arizona, and we're going to take a tour of this beautiful champion home that is currently for sale in Cornville. So if you're in the area, come and take a look at it in person. But first, before we get on to this home tour, I wanted to congratulate the two winners of my little 5,000th subscriber giveaway. Congratulations, and thank you for being a part of Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. There's a lot more home tours coming, but let's get this one going so we can get to them. Like I said a moment ago, everyone, we are here in Cornville, Arizona. And if you don't know where Cornville is, like I didn't, it's near Sedona and Cottonwood, a cute, quaint little town here in Arizona. Very nice, very nice. But what we're looking at today, everyone, is what I'm gathering to be the Innovation 3270 or the HD 3270. This home didn't have a data plate on it, so I had to look it up and find it. And the floor plan that I did find is a little different than this one. So this must be a customized version, and we'll point those differences out inside the home. But what we're looking at is a four bed, two bath, sitting at 2,201 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 70 by 30, and this home comes with about an acre of land, a private water on a septic tank. The asking price for this is about $465,000, but keep in mind you have your own land. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now let's check out this manufactured home 
for sale. Walking in, as you see, we have a different kind of color palette there. We have a nice accent wall, a different color on those walls. We've got nine foot side walls with a flat ceiling, and this is drywall throughout this home. The living room size is 19 feet by 18 feet, two inches. And as you saw a second ago, their registers are on the floor. So your air conditioning and heating is coming from the floor. And we're gonna go just take a look at this entire house and let's see what we have over here. Spinning around into your dining room. I love this chandelier. I had to stop and kind of show it to you. And then behind that chandelier are these beautiful shelves that you can use for decor, storage, games, um, whatever you have in mind, you can use it for. And then we have these built-in drawers on the bottom. Take a look. Um, we have some stuff either left over from the last owners or the cleaning stuff they use here, but wanted to show you the size and depth of those uh, drawers there. Um, this home was placed in 2020 and it is 2023. So this home is three years new. Uh, the former owners were here for a couple of years and here it is for sale now. And we're looking at the dining room here. The dining room size is six feet, two inches by 14 feet, seven inches, more than plenty of space. And as we go into the kitchen and take a look, you see you have a little bit of storage space at the edge of that island. We have a nice uh, brown, dark brown color cupboards, cabinets, and so forth. I love those lights right there. Let me just say, I love those lights right there. And spinning around here, I also like that backsplash. I like, I always like that separation and backsplash right there. And then looking up into the cab cabinets here, nice, good quality construction with adjustable shelves. That's always a plus. I do like the color, uh, the color of the the countertop right there. Again, good construction in those drawers. You see this home has the stainless steel package um, along with it. It is set up for electric. Now, I usually say you could change that, but this time you can't because you're gonna buy it the way you see it. So we have a dual sink right here with a pulled down um, gooseneck uh, faucet to spray anybody who might be messing with you. Over here in the island, you see plenty of drawers. Big, deep, nice drawers, plenty of storage. And if that wasn't enough, you have plenty over here. So that's the one thing so far in this home that I see is it has an abundant amount of storage space for everything you might need. And as this home being a four bedroom, you might need all that space to store your stuff. See, we have a nice eat-in counter here for seating for about three. Again, I love those lights. And um, if you want to see the pantry, there it is. So like I was saying, you have plenty of storage like everywhere in this home. That is really cool. Now I was talking about some of the changes and here comes some of the changes. In the floor plan that I found right here is a family room, but this one has been adjusted for a bedroom and a closet here, which would be a great linen closet. We're gonna take a look at the utility room here. Plenty of storage again for your soap and your uh, dryer sheets and everything else. Hookups all set up ready for you right there. Nice. Color palette the same as the, the rest of the house. So there's no change and no contrast there. Nice soft close cabinet there. And now we're going to take a look at uh, one of the additions that I think are always just, I mean, great for manufactured home, you know, is, is, a is a garage. I was about to say closet, but a garage. I mean, this is always, you know, added afterwards, but it is a great addition. And as you saw outside, it really gives this home even more of a residential feel. So that is just awesome and now back into the guest areas and like i said this whole area right here is is open for a family room opening up to that uh, utility room but now we have this fourth bedroom instead and what i gathered on the size of this it's a guess it's about 13 feet by 11 feet give or take a few inches there um, but a nice big size bedroom for for guests for families for your for your eldest if you will taking a look at this uh, closet here we've got a nice uh, wood shelf and a wood coat rod which is great i always prefer that over the wire in my apartment i have wire shelves and 
Yeah, let's just stick to the other stuff, would we? <laughs> Walking into the guest bath here, you see you have a nice drawer bank of about four drawers in the middle of the dual vanities. Hi, everybody. Can't hide myself when you see those uh, medicine cabinets, I'll tell you. Great lighting. And like I said, a medicine cabinet. You don't see many of those manufactured homes I'll tell you what and then I do like the backsplash there that is complimentary to the rest of the home they're using that uh, same kind of backsplash in the kitchen and that is what that drawer looks like and now let's spin around and see the rest of this gas bath shall we we have your toilet over here that is a water saving it doesn't seem to be elongated there and then over here we have your standard 30 by 60 shower tub combo and now over here, another door, we have more linen storage. So far, so good on the storage of this home. What do you guys think? Let me know uh, what your thoughts are on that in the comments below. And you know what? I don't even think I said it because I've been so excited about giving away the, the, the giveaway there that leaving me a like and drop a subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll tell you why in a moment, but this bedroom right here is 10 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 3 inches. But if you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, and you'll be able to follow along on this little road trip I got going and see all of these home tours. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take a look at all of the other videos that we've done in the past. We have about 200 home tours. Take a look. Let me know what you think. And now that we're in the third guest room here this one size is 10 feet 5 inches by 14 feet 6 inches I mean all three of these guest rooms are big and they have just ample room for for really anybody you know what I mean from a small child to 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 an adult to the elderly I mean this home in my opinion pretty much has it all that you might need for a home you know I mean four beds two bath plenty of storage I'm loving it. So, you know, and if you want to know more about this home, I did include the link to the floor plan that I think this is. Um, click on that and learn all about it. You know, you can see some photos, some videos, and most importantly, you know, get pricing directly from a retailer near you because since I travel all over the U.S., the prices are different everywhere. So click on that and find out more. So now we're going to go check out the primary. Now, the primary size is 18 feet by 14 feet 10 inches and that is nice and big we have two big windows letting that natural light in you have this little uh, area right over there kind of like a sitting area really cool um, this one of course has your um, ceiling fans and I love the transom windows I love you know just that little peak of light in the morning I don't want too much not that flood but that is a nice one especially you know above your head when you're sleeping and now of course as you see we are coming into the primary bath here same nice backsplash behind your vanities and this beautiful soaker tub nice little nook for that soaker tub looks nice looks comfy cozy as you see a second ago the, the toilet is on the other side of the wall I personally approve of that and um, I wouldn't mind soaking in that after a long road trip uh, doing these home tours I'll tell you what and here we go again another medicine cabinet don't see many of those and then lighted lit uh, mirrors I like that you can really see everything that you're doing you know what I mean to your hair and to your face and everything else so that is a nice addition another big window um, a translucent window to block out everybody from looking in but a nice window by the uh, by the bathtub and the shower if you can't soak take a shower in this beautiful shower I like that uh, nicely tiled uh, the 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 same design uh, all the way around you see the backsplash kind of like the uh, I can't remember what those small ones are called if you know let me know because I'm just drawing a blank right now so you know and then walking into the primary closet here uh, the former owners added a door there um, which usually isn't there um, so there's that take a look but of course you know if you were interested in this home you could always take that off let me tell you um, but there was the uh, primary closet nice big ample room um, and uh, now we're walking back through uh, that primary bath was gorgeous I think the the primary room is 
humongous. This whole house is nice. And we haven't even taken a peek at the backyard, which we're going to do in a moment. But, I mean, look at this home. It's beautiful. It's got plenty of room, plenty of space. If I wanted to live in Arizona, I would definitely look at this one. But let's take a peek out at the backyard. It, the, com the property is completely fenced in the back. Nice, plenty of room. Um, a lot of opportunities in the backyard. I can tell you that much. But thank you, everybody, for joining me today. And thank you and congratulations to everybody who won. I hope to see you again. Live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy. See you next time.